Principles of editing. In camera editing is a process to make it a lot easier for the editor. It helps by making the editor not use a lot of transitions or effects. It also saves time on the process. For example, I could zoom into someone's eye to the max, then zoom out from another person's eye to show the different location. Another technique is following the action. This is where you follow the, what's happening and it is used more in conversation scenes. A good example would be Coronation Street. There are plenty of conversations and they use that technique so it looks like they are actually having a proper conversation. Multiple points of view in editing. This is the different view of a person on screen. For example, is a POV. Point of view is a good example to show the perspective of another person on the screen. It also shows what the person is looking at. Another good example is an over the shoulder shot. It is a good one also because it makes you feel like you are actual with that person. Shot variation in editing. There are loads of shot types. The shot types are overhead view. This shot makes the person look smaller. Close ups are there to show more emotion and over the shoulder makes you feel like you're with that person. Manipulating of diegetic time and space in editing. This is a good way to show a long time passing in a short time. When I started to research into this, I found out a good example of the movie 2010 Karate Kid, where he is training and usually it would take a long time, but they made it into a 10 minute clip. Development of the editing principle in the early days. When Albert Hitchcock had an interview, he explains what cutting is. He says cutting implies it is severing something. It really should have been called assembling, according to Hitchcock, because he compares it to a mosaic. You break it all up and put it back together again. In terms, he means splicing as well. Albert thinks montage means assembly of pieces of film which moves in a rapid success. Follow the action. I found a good example of Robert Paul's movie, Come Along Do, in 1898. It had a duration of one minute and it was the first ever movie to show more than one clip in one sequence in the short movie. For multiple points of view, the first ever movie to use that technique was Robert Porter's Great Train Robbery, same as in camera editing as well. It was the first movie that added different shots to the film like the vert to give the perspective of one person looking at one another. Development of editing principles in the modern days. In camera editing, Papa Roach between Angels and Insects, year 2000. There is a scene where the camera zooms right into the eye and it doesn't stop. It carries on going straight through to the back of his head and then it heads towards another guy. Even though it has a little bit of CGI to it, it is still going the same process. Multiple points of views, Coverfield 2008 Matt Reeves. This movie is all filmed on the camera like the Blair Witch Project. It has a point of view shot through the whole movie and they try to make it feel like a real life situation. Another movie that is good is Enter the Void with another POV shot where he is looking into the mirror and adding the blink effect as well. Karate Kid 2010, the ending of his training, it all gets smashed into a small scene of different days of his training. Like one day he is training in the back garden, the next a roof and then on the china wall. They did this because it shows that it should have been a long time but they shortened it into a smaller time by making it into a montage. Development of editing technology. For the different editing techniques, there were film, video, analog editing and digital editing. Film is a series of moving images moving at a fast speed to make a motion picture. It is on a flexible strip of plastic and it is coated with a light sensitive illusion to help expose the image on the camera. Analog is an older technique of editing. It is where you split a thin layer 
of plastic and stick it together to make it a film. You can also overlay it to give it an effect or colour it in so it doesn't just be black and white. Digital editing is another editing way. This is on the computer where you use software called Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. The purposes of editing. Editing helps out in telling the story. A good example is Nickelback's music video, This Afternoon. This music video has a narrative about three nerds that want to have a party. And it even shows that the nerds can throw a good party, even if they kidnap Nickelback. The start shows that the nerds are planning the party and then the audience who are, is watching this music video finds out they kidnap Nickelback. Then the song kicks in and then everybody starts coming to the party one by one. The principles of editing, conventions and techniques. Transitions, putting two clips together to, and putting a fade effect so it switches smoothly to another clip. Cutaways. An interruption of a thing you can you see and it cuts to your face to show your reaction. Point of view shots. Point of view is a shot way it makes you feel like you are witnessing it first hand. Reverse shots. This maintains two shots between two people having a conversation. Editing rhythm. It has a fast rhythm to it and make it sound more actiony. Cross cutting. It's an action that is happening between two different locations at the same time. Cutting to the music. This is used more in music videos because it expresses to the beat more. 